If you were to go round special care baby units, pulling babies off oxygen and taking the electricity out of the wall, that's in effect what we're doing to the planet now. We're spoiling our own life support systems. I think unless we start addressing the carbon agenda here now, in this year, on the NHS, we're setting ourselves up for a disastrous future and the next generation will really suffer. Eleven weeks before we were due to have our babies arrive, and they decided to make an appearance. Both roughly two pound in weight when born. You have twins and you think you're going to bring them both home together. Maisie and George Royal were born eleven weeks ago. Maisie's at home, George is coming home soon. He's gained 30 grams over the last two days. He looks like he's, he's made good progress. What sort of future will they have? What we do today can have a huge impact on future generations of so babies such as Maisie and George. The health of our children in 30 years' time is dramatically affected by what we do now in terms of our efforts in relation to carbon. The NHS is responsible for 25% a quarter of all public sector emissions in this country today. If you think about the NHS on a wider level, the, all the GP surgeries and what the PCTs do, there's even wider sustainability remits that can be done in ensuring the population is kept more healthy. Sustainability is very broad and it covers quite a large number of categories. We have waste and there's travel and transport, there's also um, energy management. Its stated aim is to improve the health of the population, so it's got to be showing the way forward. If we do nothing, we will have nothing to give the next generation. We'll be stealing our children's future really. Nobody's got the right to do that. The biggest bit of our carbon footprint is the pharmaceuticals. We know that a huge amount of pharmaceuticals are wasted in the NHS and interestingly pharmaceuticals have a very big carbon footprint. If you're a baby born today you're going to be living as an adolescent and an adult into 2030, 2040, 2050 where we know the world is going to be very different. Now the issue is that Preparing for that world starts today. If everyone did a small part, then it'd make such a big difference, wouldn't it? I think it needs something doing now, today.